Welcome to Agenda Edina, a news program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. Golfers will have to wait a little longer for indoor practice space in the city. After fire destroyed the dome last February, city officials hope to rebuild and open the facility this winter. However, negotiations with the city's insurance carrier have delayed the project. Last fall, consultants estimated the cost of replacing the dome to be about $3.2 million. Around the same time, the city learned that the probable size of the insurance settlement was going to be around $2 million. The city continued to negotiate, and officials now believe the final settlement will be closer to $2.2 million, an amount that helps the city get closer to the goal of rebuilding the dome. The burden of, of waiting uh, for this whole process to kind of find its way to a successful conclusion is really borne by our golfers. Um, you know, they've been patient. Uh, we've heard a lot from them that they miss having that facility. They want us to rebuild it. Uh, we want to rebuild it. Uh, we think it's an important part of our overall golf program. So we want to, and I guess I want to personally tell our golfers that we appreciate their patience. Uh, we're trying to do the best thing we can for the community in terms of, of making a financial commitment to this project. Because there will likely be a gap in funding for the project, the City Council will act on the proposed reconstruction of the dome once negotiations are complete. Good news on another favorite space in Edina. This year, Countryside Park is getting a facelift. The City Council approved a $1 million renovation of the nine-acre park on Tracy Avenue. The master plan, driven by input from neighborhood residents, includes new handicapped accessible playground equipment, a larger outdoor skating rink, a new shelter building, and relocated basketball court. Residents can look forward to a very different looking park. Um, the prep ball field will be completely renovated. Uh, with new fencing, new infield, new outfield, new dugouts. Uh, we will be moving the playground from the eastern uh, section of the park over to the western side of the park, closer to the parking lot. Construction will begin this spring once bids are approved. The project is set to be complete in October. The mayor of Edina is hoping to connect with residents in a new way this year. Mayor Jim Hovland held his first Walk with the Mayor event at Southdale Center. Edina 16's Dietrich Nissen joined his group to find out what's behind this idea. It's no secret malls have become an early morning haven for those who love to walk. And for these 10 Edina residents, it was a chance to speak with their mayor. It gives you a one-on-one, -on -one, and if you've got any questions or uh, pluses or minuses, you can get a direct answer and get your input heard. I think it puts them more in touch with what's going on, and hopefully these things will build. It's being a role model, you know, get out and walk and do things and that sort of thing. I think it's important. The group looped around the mall's first level floor four times, all the while chatting about what matters to them. We had some great conversations about some of the things that were going on. Those things include concerns over the bike lanes on Wooddale Avenue or continuing issues like the airline traffic over the city. I'm leaving with a lot of uh, uh, a lot more information than I came with. But the conversation also brought up new ideas, such as farmers markets at city parks. I thought she had a great idea. You know, we've got these park buildings, every park we could have a we could have a, a small-scale farmer's market at every park in the summertime. And despite the smaller turnout, neither the mayor nor residents were discouraged from the idea of another walk. We're going to do this walk now once a month, and we may pick it up. You know, we may do it once a week. We'll see what happens as we go along. I'm, I'm going to plan on being on them because it's, uh, it's a great way to, to, to meet people. At Southdale Center, Dietrich Nissen, Edina 16. The mayor plans to have a walk at 9 a.m. every third Saturday of the month at a different location in Edina. The next walk with the mayor will be held February 16th and is tentatively scheduled for the Galleria. Thanks for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.